Another day, another story. Welcome to this video on mind control and persuasion. In this video, we will be discussing the secrets of mind control and persuasion, and how they can be used to influence people. Mind control and persuasion have been used throughout history by leaders, marketers, and other influencers to sway the thoughts and actions of individuals and groups. By understanding the techniques of mind control and persuasion, you can be better equipped to make informed decisions and avoid being manipulated. So, let's get started. Section 1. The basics of mind control To understand mind control, we first need to define what it is. Mind control is the process of manipulating an individual's thoughts and behavior through various techniques. Mind control can take many forms, from subtle manipulation to overt coercion. It is often used to influence the behavior of large groups of people, such as in political campaigns or religious movements. There are several key techniques used in mind control, including 1. Hypnosis. This is a state of heightened suggestibility that allows the hypnotist to manipulate the subject's thoughts and behavior. 2. NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. This is a method of communication that uses language to influence a person's behavior and thought patterns. 3. Emotional Manipulation. This involves manipulating an individual's emotions in order to control their behavior. 4. Gaslighting. This is a form of emotional manipulation where the manipulator makes the victim doubt their own perception of reality. By understanding these techniques, you can better recognize when they are being used on you, and avoid falling prey to their effects. Section 2. The power of persuasion Persuasion is the art of convincing someone to do something or believe something. Persuasion is used in many different areas of life, from advertising to politics to personal relationships. There are several key elements of persuasion, including 1. Authority. People are more likely to be persuaded by someone they view as an authority figure. 2. Social proof. People are more likely to be persuaded by something if they believe that others are doing it too. 3. Reciprocity. People are more likely to be persuaded if they feel like they owe the persuader something. 4. Scarcity. People are more likely to be persuaded by something if they believe that it is rare or hard to come by. By understanding these elements of persuasion, you can be more effective in your own persuasive efforts, as well as recognize when others are trying to persuade you. Section 3. How to resist mind control and persuasion Now that we understand the techniques of mind control and persuasion, how can we resist them? There are several key strategies that you can use to protect yourself from being manipulated, including 1. Awareness. Simply being aware of the techniques of mind control and persuasion can make you less susceptible to them. 2. Critical thinking. Always question what you are being told, and look for evidence to support or refute it. 3. Independent thinking. Don't just follow the crowd. 3. Think for yourself and make your own decisions. 4. Avoidance. If you know that someone is trying to manipulate you, avoid them or their influence. By using these strategies, you can be better equipped to resist mind control and persuasion and make informed decisions. Section 4. The Ethics of Mind Control and Persuasion Finally, we need to consider the ethics of mind control and persuasion. While these techniques can be used for good, they can also be used for evil. It is important to consider the impact of our persuasive efforts on others and to use them responsibly. Some key ethical considerations when it comes to mind control and persuasion include 1. Informed consent. It is important to ensure that those who are being persuaded have all the information they need to make an informed decision. 2. Respect for autonomy. Individuals should have the freedom to make their own decisions without being manipulated or coerced. 3. Non-manipulation. Persuasion should be based on truthful and transparent information, rather than using deceptive tactics. 4. Beneficence. Persuasion should be used for the benefit of the individual or group being persuaded, rather than for personal gain. By considering these ethical principles, we can use mind control and persuasion in a responsible and ethical way. Section 5. Examples of mind control and persuasion To further understand the concepts of mind control and persuasion, let's take a look at some real-life examples. 1. Cults. Cults are a classic example of how mind control can be used to influence individuals. 1. Cult leaders often use emotional manipulation, isolation, and other techniques to control their followers. 2. Advertising. Advertising is all about persuasion. 2. Advertisers use elements like authority, social proof, and scarcity to convince consumers to buy their products. 3. Politics. 
Political campaigns rely heavily on persuasion. 3. Politicians use persuasive tactics like emotional appeals, fear-mongering, and promises of change to win over voters. 4. Religion. Religious movements often use mind control to influence their followers. 4. This can include tactics like isolation, indoctrination, and manipulation of religious texts. By understanding these examples, we can see how mind control and persuasion can be used in different contexts and for different purposes. Section 6. Tips for persuading ethically If you want to use persuasion in your personal or professional life, there are ways to do so ethically. Here are some tips. 1. Use truthful and transparent information. 2. Respect people's autonomy and avoid manipulating them. 3. Focus on the benefits for the other person or group, rather than your own gain. 4. Give people the information they need to make an informed decision. 5. Avoid using fear tactics or emotional manipulation. By following these tips, you can use persuasion in a responsible and ethical way. Conclusion. In conclusion, mind control and persuasion are powerful techniques that can be used to influence people's thoughts and behavior. By understanding these techniques and the elements of persuasion, we can be better equipped to make informed decisions and avoid being manipulated. It is also important to consider the ethical implications of these techniques and use them responsibly. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching.